it's time for September favourites, but before we get started, I have two things to mention. And the first thing is the newsletter. Oh my word, I've never had so many tweets, so many replies to that email. It was so, so lovely. Thank you so much for all of the support. I'm so glad the people who got it in their inbox enjoyed it. The feedback was incredible and I have written the second one and it will be delivered into inboxes at 6 a.m. GMT time tomorrow. So I'll pop the link in the top of the description box below. So definitely check that out. Just make sure you're putting in your email address right, that you're confirming your email address and like the confirmation verification email. And if for any reason you don't get it, I will tweet a link to it where you can read it on my Twitter. So definitely check out that there. I will also put a link to the last newsletter down below as well so everything will be there but every month I will tweet it out so if you don't get it for any reason don't worry it will be there on Twitter and there'll be links to it in other places on my social media I am sure so thank you so much for that that is awesome can't wait for that to go out tomorrow and then the second thing is something that Lily and I both announced I think it was on our Twitter and Instagram story but if you guys didn't see I really just wanted to say a massive Massive thank you to you guys because Lily and I have been working with Look Good Feel Better over the last year. We did a sponsored walk with them. We did our Liberty afternoon tea events, which was just one of my favorite events that we have ever done. That was so much fun. And then also we did our jumpers, you know, the hashtag no makeup day ones and the loungewear for life. Our limited edition jumpers, all of the proceeds from that went to Look Good Feel Better. And in total, we raised over 15 grand. That is insane. I'll put the exact amount across the screen, but Thank you so much for that. We could not be more happy that that money has gone to such a good cause. Look, I feel better. Completely over the moon. So thank you so much for that, guys. Pat on the back, everyone. I'm already melting in this chunky knit. It seems like a terrible idea now, so let's get on with the favourites. And there's not too many things this month, but there are a couple of beauty bits. I will show you those first. And the first thing is a skincare favourite. It is from Dr. Yar, and this is their BB Beauty Bar Multi Action Skincare Makeup. SPF 45, which is insane. But oh my word, this is incredible. It's basically all I've been using as a base all month. I have got a bit of foundation on today, but it has so much coverage in it. It's basically a tinted BB cream, perhaps a little bit warm for me. I'm not sure how I'm gonna rock and roll with this in the winter months, but for the summer and for kind of no makeup, makeup days, it is incredible. It's a moisturizer that's got SPF, that tinted coverage in, and it just leaves your skin looking so glowy. I put it on when I was quite hungover the other day, and Mark was like, oh my word, have you got makeup on? You are looking glowing. And I literally just had this on. This, a bit of brows, something on your lips, you could be good to go out the door. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging. This is hard, and I really wish it was squishy, because I'm not crazy about the pump. I'd rather be able to like take out the amount that I wanted, because sometimes one pump of this is a little bit too much, but Really chuffed with this. I picked it up from Selfridges. Very happy with my purchase. Another makeup favorite is this. I got this in Boots as part of the sponsored video that I did with them and I absolutely love it. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I like these. I've got quite a few of these in different colors. This is the Athens one. It's what I've got on my lips today. I put it on in that video too. And if you like Glossier Cake, but you just want a little bit more peachy flavor and you want a little bit more color on your lips, this is great. I just feel like it's a very good, nudey, peach, not really there on your lips. I don't put a lot on. I almost take like the majority of it off the brush, smush it into my bottom lip, then press my lips together and just sort of tidy up on the top lip. I don't add any more product on. So I feel like this would last me a really long time. But if you don't normally like liquid lipsticks, I would definitely recommend checking these out because these are moussey on the lips, but they don't feel thick, but they still look matte. They last a really long time. They're like my favorite liquid lipstick formula and they're a bargain too, squall. This one is a recent discovery, but one that I'm like, oh my word, this is completely rocking my world. Has just changed my makeup application for the better. It is the Zoeva. It is their 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Oh my word, I was just struggling with my eyeshadow this month. I found that my MAC 217, you know, like the little white one, was just a little bit too small and I wasn't really able to diffuse the colour like I wanted on my eye. And then the MAC 224, which is like a little bit big and a little bit floppy. And this is almost like a, in the middle of those two. It's like a larger 217 with the flexibility of a 224. And I literally, it took me two seconds to put my eyeshadow on today. I got max over and I just like dabbed my thing in and went, 
yeah, done. It is the perfect brush if you just like a very soft wash of colour on your eyes, which is what I'm all about these days. And again, I feel like this is a bargain again. Washes up really well, just works amazingly with sort of one wash wonders on the lid. Big news guys, I have been having baths again this month and I could not be happier about it. We have lived in this flat for well over two years now, almost two and a half years, and up until about four weeks ago, I hadn't had a bath, we'd only showered. Mainly because the bath is really old and the enamel has kind of worn away and it's a bit sandpapery inside. But you know what, the other day I needed a bath so badly, I was like, I don't care. I'm gonna have my sandpaper bath. I'll just use it as exfoliation on my back. It'll be fine. And I have to say, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And it was just so relaxing. I had a candle on. I had Bachelor in Paradise up on my laptop. It was just very relaxing. I got to like shave my legs properly. Oh, it was great. And because of that, I've just been looking after myself a lot more. I've kind of been having that bath once a week, shaving, exfoliating, coming out, putting an oil on. And I got really <laughs> into using this oil. You can tell I'm literally the bottom. It is the Clarins Tonic Body Treatment Oil and it says it's firming and toning so that's why I was using it. I was like come on but we can do this. But I have to say it just leaves your skin literally feeling like silk. It's pricey. I feel like I've gone through about two or three of these over my body oil lifetime but I really like it. There's something about a body oil. I don't know what it is. Body moisturizers I like but body oil is just feels so luxurious on the skin. I sort of put it on when I'm just toweled down and it really locks in moisture and it smells so good. Oh, it's amazing. I've actually got a whole can of this in my hair today because my hair was just not cooperating. It is the IGK Beach Club Texture Spray. You would have seen that I picked up multiple bottles of this in my New York haul with Lily. She did too. I actually think I prefer this to the Obey Dry Texturizing Spray, which I feel like is a really bold statement and I really need to think about that. And I'm not, I'm not ready to 100% put that out there to the world yet, but I think that's how I feel. I kind of need to compare the two. I haven't used the Obey for a while because I've been using this, but I've definitely just pretty much used up this can. The reason why I like it more is because I feel like it gives texture to the hair, hold to the hair, sort of slightly disheveled look that I really like, whilst making the hair dry, but not too dry. I feel like the Obey makes my hair really matte and I can really, really feel it. Whereas this sort of does all the same things, but doesn't feel like it's making my hair feel like hay, which sometimes the Obey can. Annoyingly, you can't get it in the UK. They need to come over here soon because I genuinely think IGK hair care products are some of the best that I've tried. I mean, not only do they look very aesthetically pleasing, they also work. Aside from the scalp scrub that I bought in that whole video, I really didn't like that. I think I just got too much hair and it just kind of ended up in my lengths and it was all a bit bizarre. It did smell very good though. But the Beach Club, it gets a massive thumbs up from me. Time for two fashion favourites now and I am just so in love with my wardrobe at the moment because we are back into autumn and I love autumn and I just could not be happier that it's like boot season again, coat season, knitwear, I am all over it, I'm so happy. I love autumn dressing and one thing that I was very excited to get back out of my wardrobe and they're kind of like my most worn boot this month were these boots. Who remembers these? These are the Whistles, I think they were called the Belmont Chelsea boot in leopard print. They were from last year and I feel like they were quite pricey but I feel like they're one of the best purchases that I've ever made. Like I almost considered buying a second pair. There's a couple of reasons why I love them so much. I mean, obviously they're leopard print, so I love them. The toe on them is amazing. It's very pointed. I love a good pointed toe. You can see mine are wearing down slightly. The heel on them is there, but it's not too high. It doesn't make them like difficult to walk in or anything. And they are so comfortable. They're like putting on socks. I've never had any problems with rubbing or anything like that with these shoes. So the good news is, is that Whistles have bought out like a reissue of them this year and they're not exactly the same. I feel like they've got a zip inside instead of this stretchy fabric so they're not like slip on necessarily like these. But they do look very similar so I'll make sure they're linked down below for you but I, I was just so happy to like dust these off and have these back in my wardrobe and I feel like it'll be that way for many autumn capsule wardrobes in the future. <laughs> okay, I've basically got half of my wardrobe here because I have a new denim favourite. I mean, I've been going on about this everywhere as well. I'm sure you have heard this, but there's a lot of confusion about what the style is called, what size I get, so I thought I would just throw it all in this video so you know what the deal is with this denim. So it's from Topshop. I discovered it because I've been working with Topshop over the past couple of months and I needed a pair of jeans. I bought these off the internet. 
I was like, I, I just sort of bought them willy nilly. I was like, oh, I need a pair of jeans for this outfit, bought them. Oh my word, they were like the best jeans ever. They're the kind of pale denim wash that I was wearing for like the last part of summer. Now, the reason why I think I prefer these to the Urban Outfitters BDG Axle jeans that I really loved, because these are just a little bit thicker, so they hold their shape a bit better. They've still got stretch in them, but they're not as stretchy, so they're a bit more kind of real denim, a bit hardier, and also the consistency in sizing is much better across the washes. Once I found these, I basically invested in like three other different washes um, for autumn and I couldn't be happier with them. So they are called the Motto Raw Hem Straight Leg. If you put that into the Topshop website, it will bring up like a whole range. There's petite styles, there's tall styles, there's maternity styles, there's different washes. I will link down below for you all the washes that I've got because I've got like a black wash denim. I've got an indigo, ooh, ooh. this indigo vintage denim I love. I haven't owned denim in this color for years and I just really love how it looks, especially with colors like this, like the gray in the autumn. I think that's really nice. This is a really good transitional denim. This has almost got like a greeny tone to it. Again, looks good with gray, looks good with every other monochromatic color that I wear. And then these are the original ones that sort of started off the whole love affair. These are just like a washed pale denim. They wash really well, they fit really well. I take them in a 28-32 and that works well for me. I'm kind of a size 10 to 12. They're 40 pounds a pair too, so they're cheaper than the Urban Outfitters ones, but overall just super, super happy. And now I feel like my denim collection is there. I definitely don't need any more for years. My final favorite of the month is a suitcase and I actually have a little story about this. So you guys will know that I love Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec is perhaps my favorite TV show of all time. Absolutely obsessed with it. I always tweet gifts from it, like always. <laughs> They're the only gifts that I tweet, aside from the office ones and ones Ryan Gosling in. I also love suitcases and luggage, and I'm constantly buying new ones and giving old ones away to family members. Like, my parents now have about 14 suitcases, they're like, Anna, it's time to stop. Mark is like, oh my god, you bought more suitcases. But I just love the idea of finding the perfect suitcase that's exactly what I want, that really is light and helps me to pack in a way that is very effective. So I was lucky enough to get an away suitcase, which are like the fancy suitcases that everyone has and they were like a Kickstarter and they're just bloody great. I was lucky enough to receive one when I went to New York with West Elm because West Elm and Away are doing this special collaboration for Christmas, which is all kinds of beautiful. So I had the smaller carry-on. They do four different sizes. They do a smaller carry-on, a bigger carry-on, a medium size, and then a large size. So that was the smaller carry-on. I absolutely loved it. It was in a gray color. Mark was eyeing it up. So I was like, you know what? You can have this one. I'm gonna treat myself to my own away suitcase. And I was sort of sitting on it. And then I went on the website one day and Rashida Jones, who is Anne Perkins in Parks and Rec, had collaborated with them and created three limited edition colors. There's like a kind of greeny color, a pinky color, and then a lilac as well. I saw this pink and I was like, yeah, I, I didn't really even think about it too much. I was like, I'm just, this, this just has to happen. So I ordered them off the website, my own money. They actually shipped very quickly. They got here in about a week and I ordered myself the smaller carry-on and then the medium size as well. And I thought, you know what? That's me done for luggage. Like, I really, that's gonna be the luggage that I use for the rest of eternity. I'm done. Mark can have the rest sorted. Love this suitcase, it's great. I'll give you a quick little tour here. So here is my case, and like I said, I have the smaller carry-on just because I feel like that works with all airlines. This is what it looks like inside. You've got this like clear mesh side, which you're supposed to put your kind of bigger, non-squishable things in. And then on this side, you've got this thing, which this, this is the thing that I love the most. You get this in the larger suitcases as well. It's like a little pad that comes over and squishes everything down. So in here, I just keep all my travel essentials. I keep this in my wardrobe. It's just genius. And the mini carry-on comes with a little, there's like a little bag down here. It's like a little waterproof bag for your laundry. Genius. Under the handle, you've got this little portable charger that you can take out. I really love luggage, can you tell? I ended up taking the smaller cabin bag with me when I went to Stockholm with Lily, and then I took the medium one with me when I went to New York. And when we are in New York, we saw a lady in the lift and she also had the pink away suitcase, the Rashida Joe suitcase. And I was like, Lily, look, look at that, that girl, that girl over there has the same suitcase. She was like, oh, that's really cool. Then we got in a lift with her and realized it was Rashida 
freaking Jones. <laughs> she had her own suitcase. Me and Lily were like, oh my god, oh my god. She got out the list, she looked amazing. So that was that was great. Like I felt like my life had been made in that moment. Then when Lily and I were checking out and kind of grabbing our bags and repacking them in the lobby, she was also in the lobby as well. She was on the phone, she looked amazing, and Lily's like, go and talk to her. I was like, no, can't talk to her, so embarrassing. But Lily said, go get your suitcases and see if she like notices that you've got her suitcase. So Lily was like watching me like a hawk. When I got a suitcase, she was on the phone, so I was like, she won't say anything, she's on the phone. As I scooch past with the Rashida Jones suitcase, Rashida Jones looks up and she's like, great luggage. Oh, it was amazing. I feel like I said thank you. Lily was like, you, you didn't really say anything, you just kind of went like that and sort of made a face and mumbled something. So that was a bit embarrassing, but it was a great moment and I feel like that purchase is just completely justified for me because Rashida Jones herself has been like, great luggage, good purchase, well done. So, whew, so happy. I don't normally add in these kinds of things, but I've had a few people ask for it and because I bought those away suitcases, I get a referral code, which I think gives me 20 pounds if you buy something and I think you get 20 pounds off. Something like that. I feel like we both benefit from it. So it's a good thing to share. I'll pop it down below for you. Don't feel like you have to use it, but if you do want a Rashida Jones suitcase and you want her to say good luggage, then you know what to do. But I will make sure that everything that I've mentioned in this video is linked down below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like this has been just like a great little catch up with friends. Thank you for watching all the vlogs this month. Thank you for your love on the newsletters. I hope you have had an awesome September. I really have. Bring on October. Can't bloody wait. I will see you then. Bye.